here with senior Jordan McCoy to preview the 2016 Concordia women's soccer season. First off, uh, I know you've been named a, a team captain for this year. How big of an honor is that for you? It's huge. I mean, uh, we've had a lot of good leadership in the past with the past three years. There's big shoes to fill, but I think Maria Lee and I were all kind of different. So hopefully we'll be able to lead pretty well. Now that, that means uh, all the freshmen look up to you. How big of a responsibility do you feel in that role? It's a big responsibility. I think it's not only important to have, like, make sure they have friends and they know where their classes are and stuff like that, but also, like, they know what they need to do to help us be successful and they're bought into the program that's big with Coach. So I think that's what he wants us to do. Well, what kind of things have you taken from some of the, the past senior classes that, that you've been gotten to know and, and play with? Um, just, like, I mean, there's so many leaders, not only just the captains, but, like, everybody. We're, I mean, it's weird that we're seniors now, but, like, just their positivity and their, like, they just include everyone. Like, they're just so, it's like a family. So I think hopefully we'll try to adapt, adopt, adopt that. <laughs> Well, before we get into soccer a lot, uh, what's something that fun that you've been able to do this summer? Whether I mean, maybe you've done some things with teammates. So uh, hopefully, have a, a good break. Yeah, I mean, well, I live with a lot of my teammates, so that's just fun all the time. And I mean, Fourth of July in Seward, that's always fun. A couple people came down for that. Just you know, when we're not working, we just try to hang out when we can. It's good though. I like being in Seward for the summer. How, how different is it from your hometown? <laughs> oh, it's very different. <laughs> Way smaller, no mountains. Uh, yeah, everyone's nicer though. I like that. A, a few years ago, maybe it, it would have seemed crazy, even when you were first looking at Concordia, to think that have a chance to to contend for the conference championship and, and win a conference tournament via a national qualifier. How fun has it been? been to be part of that be part of a program going up yeah it's awesome I mean I know when coach came in like his first year my first year he was saying things like that and I like you know I didn't know what it meant like I was like cool we'll, we'll go win the GPAC but now it's just like that's not only like a goal we have to do that to get to our real goals so that's an expectation for us and that's awesome because when we first got here that wasn't an expectation it was a goal I have to bring up uh, what you wrote on, on your form for for your profile. You wanted to become more soccer smart <laughs> instead of running around aimlessly hoping to get the ball. Yeah. Uh, how do you make progress in that? Have, have you come along in that? Well, okay, first off, I didn't, I didn't really think about my answer too much. I probably should have thought of that. I didn't know it was going to be public, but it's okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I mean, for me, I never really think when I play, I just kind of play. And like, I mean, a lot of players, they're like, okay, like, they're playing a 4-4-2 formation, and like, they're doing, they're moving around. Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't ever pay attention to that. And it would take me a long time to figure it out. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. How much grief do you get from teammates about, oh. about that specifically, oh. too? Yeah, teammates, coach, but I mean, yeah, he calls me a spaz and says everything I do is unathletic, which is true. But sometimes it works out for me. <laughs> so, for you and the, and the the rest of the the four year seniors that that you've been with, uh, you obviously were recruited initially by the, the previous coach. What were you thinking when you you found out there would be a coaching change, and, and how long did it take you to get comfortable with with Coach Hens? I mean. Um, I don't know, I think they told us like in June, so like we didn't give that big of a heads up, but I mean I didn't know the old coach and I didn't know coach, so like for us it wasn't really as huge of a deal as it was for the older players, but like I mean I think when he walked in he just kind of knew what he was doing, like you could tell. Obviously he did because he's turned the program around, so it was pretty easy to buy into what he was doing I think, for me at least. Now you're, you're kind of getting used to, to going deep into the conference tournament with the, the last two years playing in the, the championship game. Uh, what do you and your teammates kind of talk about as far as expectations and, and what you hope to accomplish this year? Yeah, I mean, everybody talks about beating Hastings. Like, everyone's just, we're obsessed with that. And I, I mean, I think that's great, but now we're at a point where, like, we can beat Hastings. It's not, like, 
it's not a huge goal for us. It's like, yeah, we need to beat Hastings and Morningside and Northwestern. But then, like, for us, I think a big thing is, like, we need to win the easier games, too. Like, because last year we kind of looked past a couple teams and that didn't work out for us. So, yeah, I think we're expecting to we're expecting to win the GPAC, and we really, really want to go to Nationals. Like, that would be amazing. What were those couple games with Hastings like last year after, I mean, the 2014 championship game, you beat them on their home field. So how intense are those games with them? Oh, it's crazy. Those are the best, like, the best memories I have. It's just like, yeah, we're on their field celebrating, and they're just walking away, like, how did we let that happen? And it's just, like, I think before we needed to earn their respect a little bit, and now they're kind of like, okay, like, this is a big game for us, too. So it's more of, like, a rivalry, whereas before it was just like, yeah, they're better than us. What's one thing that you hope to accomplish, maybe individually, as, as a senior? Uh, individually? Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess just, like, be a better leader, I think. I mean, obviously, that's what I'm supposed to do, but it's kind of a hard role to accept and you have to kind of learn what your role is because we're all different. Like, me and Marie aren't quite as, like, encouraging and vocal as Leia is. And so, like, it's just kind of like finding where you're at in that. So I think that's big for me. How surprised were you with maybe how the, a lot of the younger players came along last year? Because after that that 2014 team that played at the national tournament had a lot of key seniors, so you had to replace them. Yeah. How, how surprised were you at the way that last year's team really came on at the end of the year? Oh yeah, it's awesome. I mean, he's coach is good at recruiting. He recruited well last year. I'm guaranteed he recruited well this year. It was awesome to see, you know, a couple freshmen in the starting lineup every week. You know, and they really, really helped us in that. I mean, obviously, Murray's a captain as a sophomore, so that's. That's big, and I think this year it's going to be, I mean, there's a lot of talent coming in, so we're excited. What's the most fun aspect of being part of the women's soccer team at Concordia? The most fun? I don't know. I think it's just, like, everybody is just, we're all so close. Like, we would all just, I mean, I love everybody on the team. It's not like there's no drama. There's no, like, I mean, obviously there's drama because there's drama everywhere, but, like, I mean, we all love each other. It's all like a family and even like, I don't know, with coach, like it's nice to be so close with him. Like he's not, he's like part of the family. That's special. I know, isn't that sweet? <laughs> now, well, nobody listed anything about bowl, getting better at bowling though. If you have another spring uh, bowling tournament, uh, yeah. shouldn't that be some of your goals? <laughs> Definitely mine. I was the team low this year with 32. So, yeah, none of us are good, though. We're not, we get competitive, but it's not good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, you survived. I survived. <laughs>